Welcome to the Delight Your Marriage podcast. You're joining me, Bella Rose, as I dive deep into the beauty, power, and truths about intimacy. Learn not only the practicals, but the heart behind what making love is all about. Delight Your Marriage. Hi there, and welcome to the show. This is a safe space. If you clicked on this because you yourself have been a victim of trauma, of sexual abuse, I'm so grateful you're here. I think you're going to find a lot of hope for your specific healing. If God, I mean, God is doing it. God did it in Lisa. He can do it for you. He did it after decades of pain that she lived through. No one knowing. And now God has given her freedom. You'll hear her story. It's astounding. She's so sweet and so brave to share after so many years of never sharing ever. It's amazing what God has done. And he used our program to do it. Anything that's good that happens to delight your marriage, God gets the glory. Just keep that in mind. Um, But we also need to remember God used this program. And so for more people to get the kind of freedom that Lisa is experiencing, we want to testify of what God did. We want to testify of what God did through a proven system, through a community of other believers, through a praying leader, through people who pray for you, through a community. You know, it, it, it's... We don't change in a vacuum. We don't get healed all by ourselves in isolation. We need others. We need to put ourselves out there. We need vulnerable, open sharing of trusted humans. God does so much. He he showed me even recently how important it was to have someone safe. I could share some, some deep things that I've never shared. It just, God is constantly asking us to go a step further, constantly. I'm so reminded, even Jesus, when he was talking to his disciples, he, he said, if, if I have a lot more to tell you, but you wouldn't be able to handle it now. I mean, think about it. That's how it is with us. He, he unveils things little by little by little. Um, and, and if we join him on this journey, he will always be doing that for us. I'm reading the book, Renovation of the Heart by Dallas Willard. It's an excellent book really is. But it is very heady. Um, It takes a long time to kind of process uh, even just a few sentences because he's just, yeah, he just packs a lot in there. It's really great. But one of the things he talks about, the process of transformation, is Dallas and I are very aligned, actually. He talks about the first thing being vision. You have to have vision to change, to transform. The second one is you have to have intention, essentially a decision the intention to change. And then the third thing he says is the means or the order, an organized way of implementing the things that you need to do to change. And it's fascinating because, um, yeah, it's very much aligned with our work is the first thing we do is a clarity call. And that is clarifying the vision. We talk about where you are and where you want to go. So we, we help build that vision with you. Um, in that clarity call. And then the second thing we do is invite you to have a commitment, right? What is paying for a program, but your commitment, you committing to the program, right? Paying is just one. So it's the financial commitment. It's the time commitment. It's the effort commitment. It's all of those things, but that's what you have to do. You have to have a commitment to the transformation. Otherwise you certainly wouldn't happen. And then the third thing is the actual means. Again, what Dallas talks about, which is the organized way of, of, of implementing what has worked for many, many others, which again is the actual program itself. And so I want you to hear Lisa's story because it's a story of hope that you too could get healing for your situation. She's a precious soul. You're going to be so encouraged. I can't wait for you to hear it. And um, she has one really important key to those who have been suffering in trauma 
maybe for a very long time. You know, one in three, one in four women, it depends on what study you look at, have been sexually traumatized. Um, And men, it's like one in six. Like, if that's you, you are by no means alone. You may feel completely alone. And we want to help you. So if you're ready for that vision, to, to discern if your next step is to make that intention and go through the organized process of change, then um, go to delightyourmarriage.com slash CC for the clarity call. A- and let's see, maybe you're going to be on the other side like Lisa and have freedom for the first time in many, many decades by God's grace. Let's dive in. Lisa, I am just so grateful that you're here and you're, yeah, joining me. So do you mind just starting off a little bit about yourself and just introducing who you are? Sure. Um, I uh, actually um, came to Delight Your Marriage a few months back. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while. I started listening to the podcast in, I guess, February and learned about it from a Facebook post of somebody um, connected with it. And so um, I was uh, excited about that and got to thinking about my upbringing. And I had very loving parents. They were together for 62 years And, um, they were, uh, great at, uh, loving, uh, our, my family. We had seven children all together. Wow. (laughs) So that's amazing. It is. And we pretty much grew up with the purity concept kind of, um, and, uh, And I guess as I was growing up and that sort of thing, pretty soon I started babysitting at the age of 12. Okay. And so I'm sort of one of those statistics, the one in four people that experience sexual abuse. And it happened very early when I first started babysitting. (laughs) And um, it was one of those things that uh, I didn't share that with my husband, even while we were dating and we got married and we had been married actually 10 years, uh, before I shared it with him because it seemed like whenever it came up, it was something that I just pushed down all the time. Wow. So, um, we have been married now for 33 years and I have three lovely grown children. And uh, one of them lives close to us and, and she has two uh, daughters. And so um, anyways, um, I should kind of back up just a little bit. I had shared with one of my friends I was working with about the abuse and she had shared with me that she too had been abused and couldn't figure oh. out why I hadn't told my husband. Okay. And so she goes, he's such a great listener. You know, why wouldn't you have told him? And so when I did, he just, um, he's a pastor. And so um, it was one of those where, he just felt like he needed help to deal with it since it was so closely related. And so we did go through counseling and he went to every uh, session with me. And um, until the counselor, well, I called her and said that I wanted to talk about sex, but I didn't want John to be there with me. Okay. And so she um, we talked about it and everything. And, and, um, I left that meeting, uh, feeling okay. And, and all that. And, um, actually I was, uh, 
I went to the car and, and my husband asked, he goes, uh, are you okay? Do I need to go back in and talk to her? Cause I was crying quite a bit and stuff oh. and dealing with it. And I said, I'm fine. You know, this is all good, you know? And I thought it was over, but as sexual abuse, um, it kind of rears its ugly head periodically throughout your life. And, yeah. um, so anyway, uh, one thing with sex, even, uh, with John's sexual intimacy, I just really didn't talk about it a lot. And he would bring it up, say, do you like this? Do you like that? And I was like, I could not talk about it. And, um, and then, uh, and I for sure wouldn't initiate it in any way, shape or form. And so, um, I really felt like we had a good marriage. Um, but I also knew that I was the problem that I was kind of the hang up, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so I, I felt that I just really hadn't found quite the right tools yet or whatever. And so I remember the clarity call with Dana and she was just very loving and uh, just reassuring. And, um, and I told her kind of my story and what all I was kind of dealing with and that sort of a thing. And um, I just, uh, I, I don't know, it, I just prayed really hard after I talked to her the first time. And then we had our second meeting or whatever. She goes, she had told me she wanted me to pray for whether or not this was the right time for the program. And so I did, and I prayed really hard. And, and then when she um, called me back the second time, I, we talked some more and stuff. And then I said that I wanted to share my prayer with her and, and she goes, okay, no, at the end of it, kind of, I said, so are you done or whatever? <laughs> After <laughs> I already signed up and everything, I said, I want to share my prayer with you. So, oh. <laughs> so anyway, that was kind of, um, a funny twist, I guess, as I think back on that. And, oh, wow. And that sort of thing. But um, just what was the prayer? I'm so curious. Did what, you have what, it like written down? I do because I oh. kind of refer to it every so often. Oh, my. Did do you, you mind know, sharing you it with me? Share it with you. I would love that. Okay. So this was early on. Okay. Yep. Um, and I just said, um, Gracious Heavenly Father. I just ask that you open my heart to love you, love you more, God, and please remember hurts from, or please remove the hurts from the past as if non-existent. And I ask that you take my guilt, my shame, and replace it with your mercy and grace. Yes. And I ask that you help me to be more open with John in intimate re situations as well as the other aspects of our marriage. Mm. I pray also that you help me to show more acts of kindness toward John in the way he wants to be loved. Mm. And I currently thank you for DYM podcasts and the team. And I ask that you would lead me in the right direction to do what is best for John and I in our marriage. I also praise you for leading John toward these resources and if it is right for me at this time that you help me to see it most clearly. You have been with us this far, and I know your love is faithful and just. I just ask that you lay it wide open or reveal to me and us your gracious and holy will. Again, thank you for this ministry of DYM, and may you bless each person involved now and in the future. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh man. Wow. That's so beautiful. So that was early on. Okay. <laughs> yes. And so then I started the program and, um, and I think one of the greatest things 
that came up first off was uh, to forgive myself. Yes. Um, all of this time, it's just been baggage and kind of looking back at the whole aspect of abuse and and realizing that I didn't scream at that point in my life, you know, I, and, and I don't even think I had breasts at that time, you know, <laughs> I mean, right, it's like, right. um, just thinking oh. back and, and, um, but, um, for that aspect of not really putting up a fight or whatever, it was, oh. it was something that I don't know. So, um, Right. I had to it felt, forgive it, myself and right, so right. that forgiveness meditation, it, typically you're looking at someone else who has harmed you, but it's like that person is gone. That person is out of my life and is nowhere around. It's not like, and so the only person that I had to work on is me. Wow. <laughs> wow. But then as I was walking through it, I mean, there were some other things personally that just kind of came up that I was like, oh, you know, this, there's, there's more, there's family, there's a whole lot of other things that came. And it was so great to be able to put this big X on my paper, you know, as I put out things, whether it be job related or um, even, even with John, he's a pretty perfect person, but (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, there were a few things that came up that I thought, oh, we could tweak those or whatever, but, but it was really great to be able to put the X's on those. Wow. Um, and then the gratitude statements came very shortly after that. And to work on those is, um, is just, how is it that you can, uh, love your husband well, and to think about him first and foremost was, um, it has been and still is really great. Wow. Um, and I love my accountability group that Allie is awesome. I, I enjoy everything that she has. She's been a godsend to all of us. And, and many of the gals that are in that group are great too. They offer, it's kind of like we all help each other. So I think that's a really important component for DYM. Mm, mm. Um, Lisa, can I stop you for just a second? Yes. Your story is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yes, what you have walked out, the the pain, the difficulty, the suffering, a 33-year marriage, and then coming to a point of just you know what? I, I want an another level. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is. Yes. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have talked to anyone else about sex really prior to this or intimacy or, you know, uh, I wouldn't have initiated, um, sex either. I mean, uh, you have something that, you know, it's between a husband and a wife and, um, and I just didn't feel like prior to this, that I really had enough biblical tools to stand on. So that was, um, it was important for me to kind of, even when I wrote my faith statements, um, I wanted to attach a Bible verse also with each one to, um, Help me kind of to keep the focus and, and that sort of a thing. So I love I it. put them on the bathroom door. So, so, so when I get up in the morning, you know, they're right there so I can say them. And, um, and I also did the same with the, um, with some forgiveness Bible passages that meant a lot to me at that time when I was going through that part. Wow. Lisa, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. I just love it. I just feel like, um, well, I want you to keep going because it sounds like, I mean, you're just doing awesome. I, I love your, all of this. Um, but then I just, 
I have so many questions for you. This is so good. Okay, well, keep going. Although you wanted to okay. continue to share, yes. Um, well, last week I asked my husband um, what he thought or uh, what he thought about DYM. Um, he did take the free course back in May, and um, his, his initial response was. Um, it, it has been good for you. And then I was like, I just kind of let it lay for a second. And he goes, it's been really good for us. Oh. And I said, okay, well, you know, how so? And, and, um, and he just said, I feel that, you know, we're more connected and the whole intimacy part just seems that it's not a duty for you anymore. And, and I have to say, I really did feel like it was a duty. And if he would touch me or something during the day, when our kids were little and that sort of thing, it was, you could have asked our kids, they would tell you that I said, get away. And I, you know, I feel bad. I know what you that, mean. Um, that's how I, how I looked at it. I really did. And, um, and I feel bad about that now, but I also know that, um, for whatever reason it is, it is what it is. And mm -hmm. so, and then, um, my daughter and I, that she lives near us and we've had conversations off and on about our marriages back and forth. And she said, what is with you and dad? And I was like, what do you mean? And she goes, well, it just seems like you all are communicating more and you just seem happier or something's up. And, and, um, I did share with her, uh, that I, you know, have been going through DYM and, um, but I did think it was really interesting that she noticed and, um, I'm not surprised by any of me. <laughs> um, but anyway, most importantly, I just, I think it's important that DYM has helped me to grow in my faith and realize how God ordained marriage that, wow. um, that I am to love him well. So, wow. so yeah, you may, I mean, we may think that, uh, changes in your marriage, regardless of what stage you are, that they may be impossible, but, but God's the one who does the changing. Yes. Not you. It's not me. It's God who does that changing. And, wow. and he's the one who makes us worthy. That was another thing I had a hard time with was I didn't really feel like I deserved John. And, um, wow. and I just, just feel like, you know, if you're hurting or regardless of where you're at, just take the next step in faith and know that he can do the impossible thing. Right. So, right. Wow. What an incredible story. Look at you. Oh my gosh. I just want to jump up and down. This is outstanding. Yeah. Man, God can do the impossible. That's so true. And, and for you, I mean, I just think about your story of, of 33 years of marriage, um, coming from such a, a such a difficult past of, uh, around intimacy and then in marriage and then 10 years of silence around mm -hmm. such a painful thing. And then not feeling you know, feeling like you could really embrace intimacy, even for many, many years after that. And then coming to a place where you saw a Facebook post, you started listening to a podcast, and then you, you took the courageous step mm -hmm. to have a conversation with somebody and share all of it, all of your story, and then come into a group with other women, share what has happened, share your process, share your journey, talk about sex. <laughs> 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 it is yes. that's the scariest thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh I'm so excited what a what a beautiful story how have you felt like you said now it doesn't feel like a duty is that right it doesn't it doesn't it is um 
In fact, um, I had shared, I'm kind of embarrassed to share this, but, um, the, but you're okay with it. it's kind it of funny. Awesome. Okay. Um, I was cleaning the house last weekend and, um, and I just happened to come across some dice that we were, were given at one of my bridal showers way back a long time ago. And I can't tell you how many times my husband pulled those dice out in our younger days. <laughs> and he maybe would just lay them on the pillow or something like that. And, and sometimes I would give in, but more often than not, I would set those dice aside and that was it. I mean, it just, it wasn't going to happen. So when I came across those dice the other day, I set them out on his pillow. <laughs> and so, and so, yeah, it was, um, yes. it was <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Go, Lisa, go. Go, Lisa, go. <laughs> That's so, and so I don't know. Those are kind of silly, hokey things, but it so um, it just keeps it real and keeps it fun. Wow. And wow. So do you feel like a level of freedom in intimacy? Oh. <laughs> um, a whole lot, a whole lot of freedom. And just, um, you know, and, and I even talked to, um, my husband about, you know, when he does marriage counseling and that with couples and, and that sort of a thing, you know, how do you, how do you talk about sex with them or, you know, whatever. And, and he said, well, it depends on the couple. Yeah. <laughs> and so, of course, you know, he's not able to share a lot of things, but I just thought, I wonder what it's really like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But wow. It's and do you, um, if there are other women who have gone through sexual abuse as you have, is this a program that you would recommend? Absolutely. I would say do it sooner or do it yesterday if you could it's kind of like Dana said to me she said if you know if I could have done it yesterday I would have you know and so wow. yeah I do wow. believe so wow it works miracles praise God wow Lisa I'm so excited what a beautiful transformation Wow. Is it um, special to have uh, these women that, I mean, I mean, here's the thing. You are so courageous to st to share your story. And before, am, am I wrong to say before February, would you have like come out and, and shared? No, oh, mm -mm. I shared that with Dana right off the bat. And I just said that, you know, I just don't feel like I have had the right tools yet. And just listening to the podcasts, I, um, I felt that, uh, it was good. And I liked the aspect of the biblical principles behind it. And, and so that was the moving piece. I had talked with John a little bit. I said, you know, I'm kind of thinking about the possibility of doing this, you know, and, um, so he knew about it, you know, prior to me starting. I know some people don't and yeah, um, and that sort of a thing, but he was definitely supportive and um, and he listens to the podcast with me. It's kind of a <laughs> it's kind of a a ritual that we'll go out on a date on Friday nights and Aww. and if the podcast is up and loaded on online that sometimes well a lot of the time we come back and we call it well initially we called it nab for naked audiobook but <laughs> we actually lay in bed we actually lay in bed um, just cuddling each other, listening to 
your podcast. Oh, <laughs> so now you're going to have a different vision while you're doing podcasts. <laughs> but <laughs> lay in bed, and so That's it may so be strange. kind of funny if this comes up at some point. That it may be kind of funny. <laughs> Because I didn't tell him I was doing this. You didn't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> you know what? I here's here's I love this for so many reasons. Here's one reason, Lisa, I love that is because, you know, so many times we try to relegate the bedroom to like we 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 walk right through the door that the enemy says of like, oh, this is nasty and bad, and you know, only you know, sex is dirty. But like, no. <laughs> This is God's holy thing. And so, yes, naked and unashamed together, holding each other while listening to something that, you know, I might trip over my words and say something ridiculous and you completely disagree with me and you're telling your husband about it while you're, <laughs> or something beautiful and, and something that connects you or something that makes you laugh or smile or, you know, squeeze each other in a, in a cuddle or whatever. I mean, it makes so much sense. That just makes so much sense. We, we should absolutely be enjoying something <laughs> wonderful together. Um, and it's something that encourages your intimacy and often is hopefully encouraging that. So ah, I think it's great. I think it's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> well, it started out with a book actually from one of your podcasts. Okay. Um, I would draw a blank. Is it a Jeff somebody? Uh, I can't remember the That's name. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. Um, but it was one of the podcasts. And so then um, we listened to the book and kind of started listening to the book because we have busy lives and that sort of a thing. And it was kind of like, okay, well, we'll just listen to, yeah. <laughs> to it together. So then I had shared that with Allie and and she goes, well, we call that NAB, Naked Audio Book. <laughs> <laughs> so, but now we call it NAP, Naked Audio Podcast. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways. Okay, I have to take one quick moment and text Allie actually because I'm a little late. So let me just tell her okay. I'll um be there in just a minute. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay. Let's keep talking. Sorry about that. Um, Lisa, this is just, this is wonderful. I love nap. (laughs) It's It's a great idea. (laughs) Um, Amazing. Well, you know, if there's something that um, somebody who has experienced sexual trauma that you have, or if there's a piece of advice you want to give her, um, something that you wish somebody told you maybe many years ago, or... um, is there something you would want to say? Um, the hardest person to forgive is yourself mm. and you need to give that completely over to God. Yep. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's hundred yep. <laughs> percent. You are so right. Thank you. And that, and that goes really with anything actually, um, that you're wrestling with it's, um, and sometimes I think we have a tendency that, um, to hold on to that and it's not, it's definitely not worth it. Give it to God. Yeah. He's the one to fix it. Yeah. Amen. I love it. I just love it. And isn't that, isn't that the gospel, right? Isn't that Jesus had to come. He had to come and suffer and die and he gets it all, all of it, all, I mean, ah, all of it, all of it, all of it. And we can absolutely hold that grace, grab onto it, jump onto the grace (laughs) and leave the mess of the, 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 enemy trying to pull us down away. We can just jump onto him, hold on to him. Oh, Absolutely. thank you for ser- sharing that. That is so true. Amen. Um, 
Well, yeah. I mean, are there any other things that you wanted to say? Would you recommend the program? Any other thoughts that you have? I would. I would recommend the program wholeheartedly. And um, and I am looking forward, actually, I've almost completed all of the modules that I have been given. And, um, and I'm kind of, I'm looking forward to going back through to take out, you know, bits and pieces where to tweak, you know, I shared with my accountability group that I'd like to go back and look at those faith statements again, and just kind of ponder on each one again, to, um, since I feel like I have grown in the program and yes, and see how I could change those. It's beautiful. Oh, I just love it. Oh man. Amazing. Lisa, this is awesome. Okay. Well, would you be willing to pray for a wife listening who maybe was in a spot that you were in? Most certainly. Okay. Gracious heavenly father. You know that there are many people who have skewed ideas on marriage as to what they think it should be from their upbringing or friends or books or media or yeah. knows what is out there. But I just ask that any woman that's out there listening today or that may be hurting from abuse similar to myself, yeah, I just ask that you embrace them as you have me and take the hurt away to where it may be even non-existent in their life. Yes, God. Help them to renew their focus on you and help them to know that you are the possible that can make the changes in their lives to love their husbands well. I thank you for the Delight Your Marriage ministry and the entire ministry team. Yes, Lord. This ministry and these people have been such a blessing in my life and marriage, and I know it um, has been, will, and can be a blessing to many others. Yes, Lord. I pray that you continue to bless this ministry and every participant that they may see your miracles unfold each yes. day as you transform marriages to the way you are ordained them to be. Yes, Lord. Will you be the glory, Lord, in your son's precious name. Amen. 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 Wow, Lisa. This is amazing. That was amazing. Wow. I am just, I am overjoyed. I am overjoyed at, at what God has done for you and in you. And I'm overjoyed that you have a story to share with so many to bring hope to them. Well, thank you for the opportunity. I feel really humbled and, and honored at the same time. So. Good. I am, I am absolutely honoring you because I am just, I'm in awe. I'm just, oh, I'm so grateful. Praise the Lord. I'm just so grateful. It's just all him, you know, he just, he just swooped in and did exactly what he wanted to do. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Well, can I just reach in there and give you a hug? <laughs> Absolutely. And you as well. I appreciate all that you do. Oh, my pleasure. It really is a blessing. Oh, praise God. Well, amazing. Well, I'm going to jump on the other call and tell Allie how lucky I am. I got to spend some time with Lisa. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> I will do that. Oh, thanks again. Please tell, get, tell your husband again. Thank you for, well, I guess, I guess when you do share with him that uh, <laughs> maybe <laughs> when he listens to this, <laughs> you can, that's right. Tell him. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Amazing. Well, God bless you, Lisa. Thank you so yeah. much. You too. All Have right. a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Lisa. Listener, may you be blessed. May you be encouraged. God is doing miracles and he can do it in you. If you'd like our program to possibly be the thing that walks you through this, you can go to delightyourmarriage.com slash cc. If you're a man or a woman, we have programs um, and we'd love to see if we're the right fit and help you in that way. Delightyourmarriage.com slash cc. Well, God bless you, dear listener. I'm so grateful you joined and there is reason for hope, even in your situation. There is reason for hope. We serve a God who changes and transforms and can heal you. All right. God bless you. Love you.